Hello there. This is Akiko Sudano in StampinInTheMeadows.com in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. And welcome. Let me, I'm checking here. I don't see the thing yet. Um, okay, hold on. I'm just checking to make sure that, uh, that I've got um, my video. Okay, there we go. Yep, all righty. Oh, hi, Karen. Thank you so much for joining me. All right. I um I'm, this is the card that I'm gonna make. Isn't that cute? This is um, using the quite curvy bundle, and also for the background paper, I've used one of the new um, paper packs that is going to be coming out with celebration on January fifth. So um, I saw this uh, card design and I said, oh, this would be perfect for this um, this particular um, paper. And um, the the thing I like about this card is that you've got the the curvy so uh, the quite curvy cutouts and then it's um it, it's got the peekaboo thing and I put a piece of red paper behind that and then trimmed it also in um, the garden green, granny apple green, not garden green. And so that's, um, that's, I think, those are the features I think that make this card special. So um, I, I'm so glad you like it because this is, this is really, this is a, a, a really, really pretty um, uh, pack of paper. And um, before I go, be, before I go very much further, I wanted to talk about a few things though. First of all is the year-end closeout that's going on right now. And these are all items from the uh, current mini catalog and things are already selling out. So be sure to look if there's something that um, you had your eye on for a while. The second thing is uh, my paper share for the new catalog that I've got. Uh, I've posted um, information on my blog, so be sure to check that out. And then the next thing is the um, that I have some openings in my online host club. And so if you're interested in uh, looking at that, take a look at my blog again. I've got a, a, a whole page or, uh, or you can contact me and then I can explain some things as well. And um, then the final uh, thing that I wanted to tell you about that um, I just got word of this weekend is that the Whisper White paper color is going to be um, closing out. Unfortunately, the uh, factory that made that paper um, had to shut down because of uh, uh, the, the COVID situation. It's really sad because that's just beautiful paper. And so they're, um, they've been looking and they're, they're coming out with a new new white color called basic white and so that's something that um that um is uh has been out there and so um it's something to keep an eye on um as um especially if um you're um if, if if you're really concerned about all your whites so um because it comes in different shades and and the whisper white is just a, a a pretty shade but i'm excited to see what the basic white is like and um and uh and 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 for them to uh replace their stock with with a basic white so um but i haven't got any idea as to when that's going to officially happen um and um it's just something that's coming out but i think that already some of the whisper white i i think it was the note cards and envelopes have sold out so um they won't be replacing that they'll be replacing that with the basic white products so um that that is um, going to be coming up but this is um these are some samples of that new paper pack from the celebration that i um and i used one of those uh sheets from uh, the um for my card today and this is called flower and field designer series paper and i've cut it down to make it a little bit more manageable to show on on screen but this comes in a pack of 12 at, and it's 12 by 12 um 
uh, paper and I've cut it down to six by six just to make it easier. And I'm, I, this is uh, one of the, it's got just a bunch of pretty floral uh, designs and then on the back it's got more of the geometric. And then one of the things about this is that it's also got a lot of black background, um, uh, a lot of black. So it, it will go nicely with um, uh, black background things. I think there's a lot of black coming um, coming up uh, uh, soon. So um, that's exciting. This is this is a really pretty one. And another thing that I note about this uh, particular paper pack is that I feel like this is going to go really, really well with a lot of current as well as um, retired um, um, retired stamp sets. I think that I have uh, some wood mount stamps that would even um, pretty well coordinate with um, th this this partic this particular style of daisy and then the roses as well and um, this is the back of this and that's that's a pretty uh, leafy branch look and then this is the one that I'm using today so this is um, called again it's called Field and Flower Designer Series Paper, and this is going to be one of the celebration products, and the colors here are Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Shaded Spruce, So Saffron, and Whisper White. So there's a lot of different colors, and it can go, um, yes, a lot of bold flowers, Karen. So it can go with a lot of different things. Hi, Chi. Thank you so much for joining us. So um, definitely celebration starts with, um, oh, okay, your, eh, bold flowers are not your favorite, Karen. So I see, I, I had to read that again carefully. I, I Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but this is this is uh, the, the, these are the petite ones for for today's card. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with um, showing you how I made the card here. So um, I'm going to leave this here and move the stamp set aside. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and this is going to be on a basic black card base, but the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to. Um, Use my uh, black stamp and write marker and the the pen here, and because it's got um, the yellow on the black, it, you it, you can see that the light um, the the um, the seam will show through. And I'm going to put it on a um, basic black card base, so I want that to be covered. So I simply use a um, black marker just to color the edge, and I. Uh, want to be careful with this so that I um, actually this is not so bad because it's the background here is black too but for some things you want to be very careful that you don't um, go over the edge which is why I like the um, the uh, the pointy end of the marker and just color that so that covers up the white edge so I'm going to put this, and, and and for some things it's not important to do that, um, but for this particular one, since I'm going to put this on a basic black card base, I, I, I want to, you can see here where uh, my pen went over, but that's, that's going to, um, that's why you want to be careful with it. But um, it's on the back, so it's going to be hidden. But I will show you the difference um, that this will make on the finished card. So I put this down because I didn't do that to my um, sample card. And put this down and then press. I feel like, do I have glue on my finger? Okay. And then I press this really good. So this is the um, this is the card that I'm making today, and this is my 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 sample card. And can you see the um, slight white edge there? Well, that's what um, what uh, coloring the edge of the uh, uh, the paper stock that will that that will give you a more of a finished look to your cards. So that's why I um, do that. And so I wanted to 
to pass that along. So now I've got my card base and this is all ready to go. Yeah, and I did get glue over here. Sloppy, sloppy. Okay, so then the next thing is to, um, and I've already gone and I've cut the, um, the uh, uh, so saffron panel with the, um, the quite curvy die. And um, and the quite curvy dies have um, you've got two different uh, dies and they have the same basic shape here and this is the one that I cut the uh, the so saffron in and so what I'm going to do is I want the um, the um, red to uh, show through the holes like that but I don't want this part of the red up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to I'm going to just lay this down and um, I could uh, die cut this, but I'm going to just, since this is going to be on the inside, I'm going to just lay this down and it's, um, it's on the back. And I'm going to just cut this, just take my pencil and draw a line around the edge here. And then just cut this out with my paper snips. Um, I you could do this also with the die cutting machine, but to me this was just as simple to cut it out with the um, paper snips because you're not going to see the edge here, so it's not going to matter all that much. And you just want to have it uh, so that you don't have that big edge sticking out um, behind the. Um, behind the uh, behind the paper, behind the top sh top layer. And then we'll just um, put it on like this. And then, you, so that guy is gone. So, but, but before I start to layer things in the back there, I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment so that I can get, um, and I'm just using the Hello Sentiment and I'm gonna stamp it in real red ink on uh, on the so saffron here, and it um, this way. I, if I stamp it now, then I'm going to be sure that I have a flat surface that I can can um, stamp it on, as opposed to having um, my layers underneath that might mess up my stamping. So I want to go ahead and stamp that down and that looks like that's fairly straight which is good and then close this back up and then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to just add adhere that to with to the back with just some liquid glue and I'm putting the liquid glue down on the on the um, main front panel here and I just loved how you could see that little bit of uh, of color through the um, through the uh, through the die cutting, and you see you don't even have to line it up all the way to the top. So that's that's why it's fine. Now the only thing you want to do here is you want to look on the back and make sure. So like I've got here, I've got. A little bit of red showing on the side so I want to make sure that that gets tucked under so that it doesn't show or maybe I'm going to just snip it off with uh, my paper snips so that I get a clean line there we go just a little bit maybe just a hair too much but that's that's going to be all right and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my, um, my, uh, my, and this is the extra piece from when I first cut uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the fancy uh, die with, uh, uh, with the die on the so saffron uh, panel. And what I did was I lined it up so that the top, this end was um, even with the top and that this end was down about an inch and a quarter because I wanted to get as much of these um, these um, these little flourishes on the bottom here on the panel. So I did that. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to take that 
and line this up with the uh, with the granny apple green and take my die and use this to help me position the die on the uh, on the panel here so I, I you can feel it until it, it feels kind of snug some of the cards with this design have have little different wonky uh, wonky uh, uh, pieces so it doesn't matter that they're lined up and some designs require you to have things lined up so this is the the method that I've used to um, line it up so I put that there and I'll take this over my okay here's my here's my die cutting plate I'll put this on my die cutting plate and then I'll take this over to my die cutting machine and I'll run this through my die cutting machine. Hi, Amy. Thank you for join, joining me. I'll be right back. There, so this is this has been cut out, and so this should be um, this should be uh, lining up pretty well. So I'll just take this as and this this I'm using um, post-it tape, um, which I uh, found um, a while back, and um, that seems to be pretty good. You can also use washi tape, or if you have post-it notes, you can do that as well to um, hold your uh, hold your dies in place um, and that the, the, the cutting plate that um, that was causing problems they're, um, they're working on that I haven't heard any updates on that yet but that's being worked on and then the big thing with this um, with this die is that you've got so many little pieces so it can be kind of messy so I'm gonna take all of these things and this is this the, my die cut pieces clean so I'm gonna just put this aside and then I'll clean that up afterwards and then this should line up pretty well with um with my um um with with my uh so saffron panel and then i've got the um just the touch of green and then the touch of of red underneath and i'll do the same thing by uh applying uh just some liquid glue around it and this time i'm going to just apply it to the the granny apple green part here Thank you, thank you, Karen. It, this is I, I like the I like the bold colors, and um, I I think that um, this uh, this is nice. I think this is a this is a pretty set, and this design was this design was one that was in uh, one of the uh, Stampin' Up flyers that um, that they put out for inspiration. And so, um, and so this will go on top here, and then it's it's on with with a border so that you can actually see the um, the uh, the designer series paper underneath it. Now I decided to use um, this uh, red twine to um, wrap around um, this so saffron panel, the die cut panel. So I'm going to do that right now and just um, make a bow on the side here. And this is um, one of the trim pieces from the, um, the mini catalog that I think it's on sale and I should have looked and, and to see if it was on discount and if it was and to see how it sold out but i i love this trim it is um right now they also have a um um i think a crumb cake color and um there's going to be a uh a mossy meadow color in the new catalog 
and it's um, it has such a nice rustic feel. So it's it's beautiful for rust with, to go with rustic cards and um, and has a natural feel, which which I think is very nice. Pull pull this. Oops, that's the wrong end to pull. There we go. I'm always challenged to figure out which side of my ribbons to pull because I don't, oh, that one almost went through. Don't want it to go through. It's here, this side. Okay. Make that nice and snug. And that's more of a loopy bow. Th that this bow has a little bit more, um, more trim, more ribbon than um, the one that I made in my sample. And so we'll see how. Um, we'll, I'll cut that afterwards. Um, that's fine. I can adjust that afterwards. But now I'm going to take this panel and I'll pop it on my card front with um, dimensionals. Right here, I think. Let's stick one up here, too. And then one right here. Okay. Then I found, as I was cleaning up my craft room, I found this little bowl that I had um, used for using glitter a long time ago. And I cleaned it out, and I said, oh, that would be a great thing for collecting all my dimensional packs. Yes, animal stamps. There are, there are, um, like the donkey one was so cute that you, I, I, I think there have been a lot of different, um, things for that. And, and, um, um, and there, I, I think, I can't wait for you to see, Karen, the new catalog. I think you're going to, um, there, there's some different pieces in there that there's some different stamp sets in there that, that hopefully, hopefully you're going to like them. Hopefully you're going to, oh, thank you, Amy. I'm glad to know that. I, I just love this. I just love this, um, this ribbon. So there we go. There. Okay. So then I felt it needed a little bit of something extra. So I have already um, stamped and die cut these little birds from the Curvy Celebrations. And I'm going to just color them with uh, the light real red and light um, crumb cake stampin' blends. And I was surprised at how well the um, real red looks goes well because I think that the um, the red flowers in there are, are actually cherry cobbler um, and um, it, it I think uh, the eye does a lot of um, just kind of smoothing differences in color like that. I think it makes it interesting. But this way I don't end up doing any blending. I just um, give the birds a little bit of color on their wings. I'm going to do, the, gonna do it with the brush side. Hopefully I'm staying in the camera. There. 
So give them a little bit of color and uh, pop those on with dimensionals. I thought I had my dimensionals over here. Um, here we go. Threw them up there. And we'll it's a perfect size for the little half dimensional. But one of the birds right here. And the other one and over here. I haven't decided how I want to uh fuss with that bow yet, whether I want to leave a loopy bow or, and then another bird right up here. I'm going to just have him on top here. There. If I should be big and loopy like this, or if I should just trim the ends, make it a little bit more structured. Let's see. Let's the final thing I'm going to do is add a um, a gemstone to the hello, right next to the, the hello, just a rhinestone for a little bit of sparkle. Put the dimensional covers away. You were being so good. Okay, I think definitely I think we need to trim some, trim them off a little bit, but we'll leave it loopy. But maybe just so that they're the same length as the, um, the tails are the same length as the loops. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the card front. So then on the inside of the card, since we had the uh, real bold, actually I need to move this over here. Okay, move that over there. Since we have the uh, real bold um, flower, um, colors, I decided that um, to use the um, flower from the Field of Flowers stamp set and stamp that in um, uh, real red ink and st stamp it on uh, stems in Granny Apple Green. <laughs> well, we'll do, we'll, next week we'll do something other than flowers. Okay, Karen? <laughs> Definitely. I'll find something that's not flowers. <laughs> For next week okay so this this um this this one is i this, i i felt that the um red flowers would look a lot like these um these flowers here so that's that's the that that's what we were going for so let's um get a panel of whisper white paper and then um stamp the um I'm going to just stamp this, since I've got lots of room here, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this all the way on the bottom of the panel. Yeah, let's get that stamp inked up really good and go all the way on the panel. It can go all the way down because there's plenty of room for the, the ribbon trim here. And... This, uh, and then use um, the real red for the top. Ooh. Don't feel like I'm getting, yeah. I think, um, that's another thing that I like about Stampin' Up! is with these um, other Stampin' Up! inks is that you really get a nice coverage with these solid stamps. Like this is uh, such a solid stamp and you want to get uh, a good, nice, even coverage. And, and you do, and it stamps beautifully. Um, so, that's... We'll put that in there and then add just a little bit of trim of uh, the designer series paper to the bottom and I'll adhere that with liquid glue. <laughs> That's funny. It, it's You have a good husband, Karen, then. That... 
you know, um, I, I, I enjoy flowers, but the, um, the uh, stargazer lilies are so fragrant and they just always make me sneeze. So it, they're so pretty and I, I like having them. I liked having them in my garden until I discovered that the deer like them as well. But um, for inside, it, it's just it's just too much. So <laughs> I can understand. I can understand. So we've got a little bit of the ribbon on the bottom and see how it covers the bottom and then there's still room for the stems out there. So that's done and then just trim off the end and then we'll adhere this to the inside of the card and then we'll be done. I like using stamp and seal for trimming for adhering especially the um the the panel where you're going to write on I think it it does a much better job of um if you don't if you don't go over I think that one went a little over and I've got a little bit of sticky on the side there but it's easy to pull off so yeah this is my sample card and I'll open this up and I will adhere this to the inside. With just a little touch of black showing. So there's the inside of my card. And there's the outside of my card. And that's that's my card for today. And I hope you like that. This is... Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, the deer are... There's a lot of deer around here. And um, I think there were a lot of... Uh, it used to be a deer run or something before they built the neighborhood. But that's my card for today. And um, I hope you consider the Curvy Celebration stamp set because it's it's really uh, a nice uh, a nice set. And and then I, I love how that you have just a little bit of peekaboo of the red color there through um, um, on this design. So thank you very much for joining me today. And next week we'll find something other than flowers to um, uh, to make a card with. So have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care.